Hi, this is Joe from My Old Apps, and today I'll be teaching you to make a browser. Okay, open up Xcode, create a new project. I'm going to create a view based application for iPhone. We'll just call this Internet Browser. Okay, bring this out. We go into the viewcontroller.h. I'm going to create a couple of outlets. One IB outlet, UI web view, page loaded. We want another outlet. I'm going to call this UI text field search bar. Here we want property non-atomic comma retain close brackets it's the UI web view page loaded we want an IB action I'm going to call this search save that go into the .m file Okay, we want to synthesize the web view. So that synthesize page loaded. And go ahead and release this in the deallocation method. Page loaded release. Okay, I'm going to open up the IB action for search. In this, we're going to put open square brackets page loaded load request should finish that for you. Open square brackets nsurl request request with URL should finish it for you again. Open square brackets once again nsurl URL with string open square bracket again search bar text and then close all four square brackets and semicolon okay so what it's doing is it's setting the page loaded to current web page to the value of the search bar okay, we're also going to uncomment the view did load method We're going to scale the web page up to our iPhone screen. So that's page loaded dot scales page to fit equals yes. Save that and load up the view controller dot zip. Okay, you can drag in the toolbar and a navigation bar. Drag in a few buttons down the bottom. Just need four of these. We want to name these stock. So we'll get another white round effect button. And we want fresh and of course back and forward. You can resize these and resize these how you like. Just do this quickly for you. Okay, now we're gonna need a text field. From the navigation bar, I'll we'll drag this out all the way. And we'll stick in a placeholder, enter the URL. This has no effect on the actual value of the field, it just shows users what to enter. Okay, 
we're going to need a web view here in the middle. I'm going to go into connections and drag go back to the back button. Let's touch up inside. Go forward to the forward button, reload to the refresh button, and stop loading to the stop button. We go into the files owner, we drag the search bar to the search bar, and we'll drag the search action to the search bar as well, and that's did end on exit. So when you finish typing and you hit the return key, it will perform the action. Page loaded to the UI web view. Can save this, hide it, build. Okay, no errors, so we're going to build and run. Okay, as you can see, when you type in HTTP Google, sorry, www.google.com, it loads Google. And we'll try the iWorld Apps website. And we'll click stop, and it stops loading. Refresh, refreshes, back, back to Google, forward, forward to iWorld Apps. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe for more in the future.